back to the old line political figures in the Republican Party, it is true. When you compare that with Obama, Obama came to power uh, riding this crest of beautiful rhetoric about change and making a difference and taking America back and all of that sort of thing. And people responded to it emotionally. And that was, that was it. There was no substance, but it sounded good. And they were mad. They were mad at the present uh, regime. They didn't like the Bush administration. They were angry. So anybody that spoke about change, well, that was their man, right? Okay, here we are. Another cycle is passing and people are now mad. But this time, they're mad at the Obama administration. So the same political trick is being played again, but this time on the part of the Republican Party. The Republican candidates now are issuing great emotional, heartwarming statements about loving their country and restoring the Constitution, taking our country back, bringing about change, reducing government, and so forth. And you look at who is saying these things. I mean, people like Newt Gingrich, for example, if you look at his voting career, he voted against the Constitution more often than not throughout his whole political career. He's great at giving speeches. He uses all the right trigger words and phrases. But here, here's a guy talking about taking back the Constitution when he himself has been one of the great attackers of the Constitution by his votes in Congress. So it's come to the point where people have to stop listening to the rhetoric and start looking at the actual voting record of these people. I don't care whether it's Republican or Democrat, that's not the issue. Uh, it was Lenin who said it so well. Lenin said, words are one thing, actions another. Of course, when Lenin wrote that, what he was telling his followers is that tell them what they want to hear. Don't worry about telling a lie. They want to hear lies, he said. Words are one thing. Tell them what they want to hear. Get elected. Come to power. When you're in power, he said, then do what you want to do. Words are one thing. Actions another. So he was advocating lying. Well, believe me, professional politicians understand this same technique. They would never come out and advocate it in public. They'd, they'd uh, deny it. But look at their records. Don't listen to their words. Look at their actions, and then you'll know what kind of a game they're playing with us.